Hi everybody, welcome to this Adobe Illustrator tutorial brought to you by Vitorials. Vector artwork doesn't need to be always 2D, right? This total logo is a great example how we can use 3D object inside Adobe Illustrator. And let me show you how it works right now. So let's start with a new document, go to File, New. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 and 1080, click Create. Then as always I want to turn off of align to pixel grid and increase the row size of my layer so everybody can see them easily. Next I'm gonna grab all of my colors and throw it to my new artboard and maybe lock it uh, on this new layer and create a new one. So on my new layer I'm gonna grab uh, ellipse tool, click L, hit once on your artboard to open the dialog box, set the uh, width of my ellipse to 1250 pixels and height 200 pixels and click OK. I want to align it horizontally to the center of my artboard. Make sure that you align it to artboard. You can give it any color you want. I simply want to sample this red color. Then in order to create a lens shape I want to grab my uncomponent tool and click on this left point and this right point to delete the handles and create a lens shape. Now we need to grab our lens shape and throw it to my symbols panel. If you can find your symbols panel you can go to the windows and find it here. Uh, in open dialog box change the export type to graphic and click OK. Now we can delete our symbols and create a circle. So to create a circle go to ellipse tool hit once on your artboard, set the width of our circles to 660 pixels, set the height of our circles to 660 pixels and click OK. Now I want to align it both horizontally and set it vertically to the center and I want to give this blue uh, color. Then I want to grab my uh, line segment tool and draw a line. As you can see it's already crossing the in the middle but uh, I want to make sure so I align it horizontally to the center both of them. Keep them both selected and navigate to your shape builder tool. With your shape builder tool slice one half this left half from your circle and delete another stuff all uh, except right half. Holding Alt key make a couple of duplicates and drag it apart so we doesn't interfere with them right now. And let's work with our, our original file. First of all we need to create a sphere and uh, to create a sphere we need to go to the effect 3D revolve. Make sure that you are setting from left edge. It's very important because uh, only left edge can bring us a sphere. Then we need to change these angles of rotation. We need to set x, y, z and we need to set x to negative 83 pick, uh, degrees. I'm sorry. Then we need to set uh, y to negative 56 and uh, we need to set Z to 147 uh, degrees. Change the surface from plastic shading to diffuse shading. And uh, navigate to our map art. Click on this button and in open dialog box we need to first of all uh, choose our symbol. Our new symbol, there is it. Then I want to place it properly so I want to check this uh, checkbox invisible ge uh, geometry and I want to uh, shade my artwork. Then I want to drag it to the this binding box to the right in order to increase this this side and maybe I want to drag it no I want to drag it to the top just a little bit. So uh, it's a little bit goes farther to the top than the center. I'm pretty happy with this result and I can click OK. Then I want to uh, change the diffuse shading to no shading. 
and click OK in order to create this design. I want to drag it to the side and work with my duplicate. Go to the effect and choose the second from top option revolve. Our object is already marked, so we need to first of all uh, set XYZ value and we need to set the X value to negative 61. We need to set Y value to negative 55 and we need to set uh, Z value to 42. And here I want to also set the offset value to 10 points and navigate to my map art. So here I want to drag this bending box to the left. And now I want to change the shape and placement of my lens. I want to uh, move it downwards and uh, drag the bounding box to the right. I think this is okay. So the angle of our uh, mapped object uh, should just a little bit grow the half of the circle as you can see here and right angle of our object should be right here. I uh, pretty happy with this result and I, I can click OK and I'm gonna uh, work with the another duplicate. I'm gonna gra uh, go to the effect revolve. In, in open dialog box I wanna set XYZ values. I wanna set X value to 146 my y value to uh, 5 percent 5 degrees i'm sorry and z value to 168 degrees and i want to increase it my x value to 150 degrees so 150 5 and 168 degrees and i also want to increase the offset value to 20 points click Preview and then I want to navigate to my part and here I want to decrease the height of this lens and I want to increase the width of this lens. Maybe drag it a little bit to the bottom, right in the third row from bottom and I want to increase this up to the end like so. So it covers uh, 1, to 3, 10 columns on our grid. And click OK, I'm pretty happy with this result. Our next option is we need to select all of these parts. Go to the object and expand appearance. Then uh, click with right mouse button to open the context menu and ungroup. Then ungroup again. Then release gripping mask. Uh, so we are releasing all clipping mask and we can delete unnecessary objects and uh, our last step is combine all of our parts all of our assets uh, in one logo, logo type and I also want to first of all recolor all, all of them so so I want to select this part and give it yellow color I want to select this part and give it this uh, cyan color then i want to select this part and give it this blue color and lastly i want to select this and give it this uh, yellow color next we need to combine all our object maybe make some changes i want to delete this clipping box uh, so we need to place it properly maybe i want grab my reference the logo, the logo that i created previously i want to put it and maybe a little bit enlarge select both of them and drag it to the rotate it a little bit like so then i want to flex this yellow part and uh, using ctrl shift left bracket to set it to back then I want to set this part to the back. So voila, we have our logo mark and uh, our last uh, 
step is to create a logotype and here I want to show you briefly a technique how I create this logo type just uh, give this uh, make this rectangle then make this uh, kind of rectangle increase the width of this rectangle and then select one point in the bottom left and uh, grabbing this bullet make around the corner and then align it horizontally and vertically and you you can uh, have this T then we need to grab our ellipse tool draw an ellipse maybe place it, some guys here but I do not want to bother you with this guy draw this kind of ellipse then uh, ctrl C ctrl F to make a duplicate and uh, scale it a little bit down uh, grab a shape builder tool and uh, select this path in the center and delete it get it away as you can see we have this all and so, so on and so forth so uh, this is how we can create this total logotype if you enjoy this tutorial please do not hesitate to thumb up subscribe and share it with your friends uh, i want to thank you for following to the end and have a nice day